look at this Excel Power Query Editor in the web. This is Excel for web with the modern UI experience. Okay, um, and I'm connecting to a SQL database and I'm refreshing. So let me just show you, let me just show you. Look, I'll just discard those little changes there. Here's a query, right click refresh. And this is in the browser. Off it goes, it, it might take a little bit longer than your desktop perhaps, but away it goes and it's updated. And here, data, get data, launch Power Query Editor. Okay, we can go get data and we get the new experience from Excel workbook, from SharePoint list, okay, from SQL Server database, view more. We've got all these different ones currently. Um, I've got two tenants in two different regions. One version of Excel has this, one version doesn't. So apparently it's still rolling out. But this is, this is pretty exciting. I've just connected to a SQL database. Um, look, if I go in here, sorry, rather than get data, also do queries and connections to pop the, the side panel out. Okay, if I double click on one of these, just like you do in normal Power Query, it opens up the query editor. I can get rid of diagram view if I don't want that. But if I do have linked queries, we've got the new nice diagram view with how the queries link to each other with the little indicators for the variant steps that you can click your way through. Collapsible panels. I love how they've got rid of the close button so you can't accidentally close this side panel. Um, really lovely to see query folding indicators. Okay, that little line means there's query folding going on, which is because I'm connecting to a SQL database, it's pushing the query back to the SQL server rather than happening on the sort of uh, Excel end. Great. Okay, all sorts of lovely options, all the sort of stuff we're used to. This is really cool. Okay. Um, the only slight quirk I've noticed so far is that if you do, when you do, let me just reference one of these, right click, uh, reference, and I'll do close and load. Okay. So here we go. Close and load two. And it gives the option of table or only create connection. Okay. If I say only create connection, you know, it'll just show up down the end here, but there is no load to. I cannot load this to a table. So I guess what I'd have to do is edit it, make a duplicate currently. You know, this is all brand new. So this might change by the time you've been watching this video, delete the old one and then load the new one to a table get the idea. But yeah, this is, you know, this is lovely. Um, if you're not familiar with data flows, which you might not be because you've not played with Power BI and things, then the other nice one under here is script view. So under script view, okay, your formula bar actually has a bit more of a scrollable uh, list. Let me try and find a nicer one like here. Um, I tend not to have diagram view on most of the time. But yeah, you've got the sort of uh, basically the advanced editor in a window which is scrollable. I, I wish just the, the normal one was movable to more than five lines, but this one you can make as tall as you want and see all the script, which is lovely as well. So yeah, Excel for web. Wow. And then how about this is a nice little feature. So I've just duplicated my tab. So I could go, you know, double click and edit a query and have a play around with Power Query while still accessing my workbook on an entirely different tab. Something like this. Look, Power Query in and not locked out of Excel. Maybe a nice little use case for web Excel Power Query. All right, this is good. Haven't seen any announcements about this, so this is brilliant. Uh, rolling out, apparently. So there we go. Excel for web power query with all the goodies connecting to SharePoint, connecting to SQL databases, fully refreshable. Awesome. All right. Did you know about this? Do you think you've got a use case? You're going to stick with desktop. Let me know what you think in the comments. All right. And before we go, shout out to everybody who's become a member recently. Really appreciate that. A few new people in here. 
So James, Gordon, uh, you know, welcome. And thanks everybody else for continuing to become, to stay members. Really appreciate it. Okay, hope everyone enjoys this sort of thing. Let me know what you think. Let me know what other videos you'd like and I'll catch you in the next one.